people have always needed stories. We use them to communicate and feel connected. Good stories become part of our lives and our culture. All recognisable brands have that one thing in common. They all tell a story. However, some things are changing. We've never had so many channels and devices to follow a story with, and today consumers look for deeper and more engaging experiences, which is probably why some stories are told and followed in a different way. Xavi logs onto Facebook. His friend Andres has shared a video on his wall. At a live gig of a famous musician, a girl jumps on stage, grabs a microphone and starts singing. Her voice is astonishing. Right before security removes her from stage, she takes off a shoe and throws it to the audience. The crowd goes mad. The video is fun and surprising. Xavi decides to share it on Twitter, where 30 of his friends discover it for the first time. One of them, Anna, creates a gif of the shoe throw and uploads it onto Tumblr. A few hours later, there are 20 more versions and the video has reached 5,000 views. Paco reads in Rolling Stone magazine that the singer from the concert is looking for the mystery girl and wants to make a version of the song featuring her. Paco visits the official Twitter of the singer. He has published a picture of the shoe that was thrown to the audience, claiming it's a clue. The shoe is a brand new sneaker model. The singer signs off his tweet with the hashtag Who's That Girl, which rapidly becomes a trending topic. Pepe types in the phrase written on the shoe on Google and lands on a sneaker blog reviewing the shoe. He loves them so much, he shares them to his Pinterest. Marta and Julia watch the highlights of a talent show on TV. One of the castings stands out. A girl with a fantastic voice gets humiliated by the jury for no apparent reason. The girl mentions she cleans for a living and that she had to work extremely hard to get there. This increases the criticism of the teasing of the jury. Julia, who happened to be at the live concert of the artist, identifies the girl in the casting. It's her, the mystery girl. She searches for the casting highlights online and shares it to Facebook. Meanwhile, the record label of the singer uploads the live song featuring Mystery Girl onto Spotify and iTunes, which rapidly moves up the charts. Jose, Fernando and five million people see a sneaker TV ad of the same shoes the girl threw into the audience. The artist announces he will use his next concert to try and find the mysterious girl, and hopefully have another chance to sing with her. Loads of girls would love a chance to sing with him, but only the original owner of the shoe will have this opportunity. By then, the original YouTube video has reached 3 million hits. 300,000 fans go to the concert, a good few wearing the famous sneakers which went on sale a week before. The mystery girl appears on stage, the artist puts the shoe on her, and it's a perfect fit. The duo sing their by now famous track. The shoe has finally reunited them. This is how a classic fable adapts adequately to the audience and mediums of today. It might not reflect your product, but it does reflect the reality of your audience and the way they process information. For this reason, and in order to stay relevant to a hyperconnected generation being present in their minds and lives, we'd need liquid content adaptable in order to distribute it across all available mediums. Different levels of depth in the story, made to offer different levels of involvement for each user, enabling them to go as deep down the rabbit hole as they please. And a cohesive message throughout, where each piece enhances the story whilst feeding the conversation constantly. A different way of telling stories altogether. A transmedia narrative. A transmedia narrative is a process where each and every element of a story gets systematically scattered through multiple distribution channels, with the objective of creating a coordinated and unified experience, ideally with each medium collectively contributing to the story in its own particular way. So why does a brand need this? It's a powerful and immersive persuasion tool. It's pure 21st century entertainment, which grips our brains. It's a fan-generating machine, given that transmedia strategies create a strong emotional link with an audience. And it's profitable. It redefines and increases ROI whilst generating buzz across all media. But moreover, because the transmedia narrative is the best and most surprising way to connect with the new generations, it builds a sustainable audience around your brand. Are you ready to amaze your audience?